right now it's looking pretty accurate. It's over Cannon Cove, heading south by southwest. As a merchant in this game, that is immensely helpful information to have. Immensely. Because then your stuff will never get wet. You'll never get caught in a storm. You can plot your courses around it. Um, maze balls. I hope that other stuff... We'll see which one they started with. If they started with that other Athena, uh, that with Lone Cove for the Athena, uh, they, you know, the loot might have despawned there. We'll see. But having the loot over at Crook's Hollow means somebody was doing an Athena. Because that's usually what happens. They abandon the Athenas and just do the rest. And the merchant stuff is always at Lone Cove. And uh, as, as far as I'm aware, always at Lone Cove and um, Crook's Hollow. That predictable. Yeah, there's Rim Runner. They're fighting that sloop, probably. Get none that is that is amazing because right now it shows it just leaving Cannon Cove. And heading toward uh, Chicken. I mean, I'm heading towards Wanderers, the north part of Wanderers. I mean, that might have been a new spawn boat. If they just sank to be able to park there. Let's not hit this island, shall we? That's not. We'll just see if we can fit ourselves through here. Perfect. So if these are here, they'll be right on the beach. And, um... That'll be good. In the vicinity of Wanderer's Refuge and in 15 minutes, in game minutes, I believe that is, it will hit Chicken Isle. There is a galley. Break. Over at Golden Sands. I don't like it. What are my... Okay. Shark bait. Wow, they're all over. They are down there, though. Thieves. Paradise. And... Devils. Interesting collection. It's been a while since I've been down at Cannon Co... I mean, Crook's Hollow, so... Could very well be that these are already despawned. And again, if they did them first, especially. Or 
Or somebody else could have come and picked them up. Yep, so either they despawned or somebody took them. Okay. Let us go here, pick up more. We have quite a few, so I think we'll do maybe maybe one, two more pickups, and then we'll do our emissary quests, uh, and then we'll head over to Reapers. Eesh. Maybe I'll do one more. I mean, I don't know if we'll make grade five. But we should make grade three. And at the very least for Reapers. At the very least, if not greater. got hurt too. Yeah, I think we probably have plenty. We'll do one more just for SNGs. One more pickup and then we'll head down and do our emissary quests. Just so I can finish up here soon. It's still going to be a while. <clears throat> Again, the very, very risky part is going to be at Reapers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the merchant stuff, run it in, take all of the other loot, run it in, and then just go. Hand in, hand in, hand in, hand in. Why am I doing this? I have absolutely no need to do this. I could have driven, I could have done drive-by with this. But I do also need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. As soon as I pick up these voyages, or this voyage, I should say. I should pick up more just in case they're crap. Yes, you may. A cargo run, yes, of course. Man. Let's see where we gotta go. Wendy. Okay. Hop in up here so I can see the rig. All right, I'll be right back.
Okay. Don't see them. Windy, eh? Okay, let's turn around so we can harpoon it on. the dock. And I think right now I'm probably the least interesting thing, unless somebody's specifically looking for PvP. Because that's one of the benefits of the noise pollution. They're on their way. Alright, well then we'll get out. We'll get our stuff, we'll get out. Maybe they're not coming here. Hard to tell. I was like, have I done a tabulation recently? I haven't turned anything in recently. There's another brick coming this way. Maybe they're going to do Ash and Maybe they're going to rumble me. We don't know. But we will leave. I think we'll be kind of our stop like we were a new ship. They're, they're going towards Ash and Winds, they could be, but they're angled in a slightly us way sort of fashion. Because they don't have their sails set at all appropriately. Oh, I guess they do. They're coming for us. They do not have their sails set well at all, though. Not at all well. I come for a ship that just left the Oculus. That is the most boring thing I can think of. Okay, we'll go around Smuggler's Bay, and since they don't have their sails situated quite right.
Chris Cannonballs do I have? Ballast. Helm. We could slow them down with this. And of course, we have our chain shot as well. If they get too problematic, we'll drop their mass. Swing around the island. They don't seem too experienced. Smart. Well, if they're smart. I don't know what they'll follow. If they're smart. Nope, they're not. They're not following. Into the wind we go. <clears throat> we'll see what they do. See how they set their sails.
Okay, this is where the boring stuff happens. All right. Two man break. I can board them. I can anchor them. Back in the room. But we're even slower, aren't we? <gasps> what was that? What the fuck? Are we outside the map? No, no, no. I don't think so. Let me check. I uh, know we're not. We're not. Did you drop anchor? Is that the guy? Is the guy boarding our ship? Did you drop the anchor? No, no. Somebody's in the water. Somebody's in the water. There's a mermaid. There should be a mermaid around. That wasn't a m that, come on. <laughs> he ran right by me. That should slow them down enough. They're going to go slower than me. I'll head him toward this other brick. Get the wind. Meg, no! They don't know how to set their sails. See if we can give him another place to go. This is also going to be the really funky part is this part. And when it gets to be too drawn out, what I'm going to do is just going to load everything on the rowboat. And they always go about board them again. Do I have any islands in front of me? That rock. 
Here, I'm heading towards an island. They get it engaged. Is this their, this is their, uh, we'll catch the wind whichever way we're facing sort of thing? Is that what the plan is? So we know that they'll, they'll go the other way on the juke. We can use that against them. So if I head slightly south, which I have to anyway, when I go to go around Cannon Cove, I'll do a harpoon turn. There are a bit of ways for me to be able to do that, though. Maybe they'll go, ooh, look shiny and stop, do you think? Or would they'll just come after me? What's your record? We gotta go this way anyway. They look like they're breaking off. Yeah, they're going to go for that break. Thank God. Okay, let's go. Good devils, thieves, shark bait, paradise. We'll head down to shark bait first. That's going to be the trickiest. Yeah, they're going for the brick. They're like, somebody fight us. No. I didn't have any anchor balls, so I was the anchor ball.
could have made a little harder. That's not too bad. That's going to be the easiest. Yeah, that's not so bad. I get a two in there, they move in and just drop stuff onto the ship from inside. get like, hey, let's just go do this thing here. Or they'll be like, hey, let's go chase this guy again. Joy. Storms at Plunder Outpost. It's going to kick back north. So we should be okay. Yeah, they're going to go to Ashen Winds. Good on them. Good on them. I highly recommend that. There they'll park right at the beach and have their ship sunk. certainly get better at my chain shots. I'm gonna hit Chicken Isle in six minutes. Oh, just a little zigzag apparently, according to them. It's not a straight line. Look at this way a little bit to avoid it. Nothing's been drenched, so at least we'll have that. Other things have been splintered and stuff, but so we'll turn in the cloth last because we'll get better value for that as the grade goes up. Well, the, the we'll turn on the really damaged stuff first. Damaged and dry. Yeah, we're gonna do. Ooh, this is tricksy. But it is kind of cool to know, okay, I'm going this way. I know it's not going to come toward me. <coughs> I know I won't end up in the middle of it. I might end up in, you know, a bit of it. But I won't end up in the middle of it. Galley parked at Plunder. Are these guys just going to chase me? Really? Really, this is what they're going to do? They're just going to come down. Or they stopped. Maybe they're going the other way. I shouldn't get upset. This is what's going to happen with this. I have to find creative ways to dissuade people from chasing. With the lesser experienced crews, that'll mean being able to board and just hopefully be able to get to their anchor before they kill me. For others, it's going to be much harder. It's going to be use of cursed cannonballs and chain shots. Port. But with this busy server, I, I'm really not looking forward to the Reaper turning. That's going to be tough. But the good thing is, I won't have that Reaper flag up for long. That's the magic. Is that I won't have that Reaper flag up for long. Got a little rain. Uh, it's bigger than this circle. The circle here is not uh, as accurate, but it's good. 
I mean, it's fine. I guess it's when you're like heavily in that. The circle is probably just that really heavy part of the storm. To give you an idea of like when your wheel is going to become out of your control. And... It's still okay. But then it's going to go up north, so it's going to be, we'll be, have some free time here without storms. I wonder if it'll show me how far ahead. That's as far as they go, Scurvy Isley at the moment. It's going to go up to Scurvy Isley, so. He's leaving that way. Well, he's just still parked there. Let's get the back. So hard to tell. I think they're facing me. Let's just get this done as quickly as possible. And what we might do is save Paradise Springs for last, because that's the easy one. We're going to have to keep a really watchful eye on these guys. I don't know if that's the brig that, I mean, the, the galley that was uh, coming for me before. Got one on this bit. Jesus Christ, this brig. They're not going to give up on me. Seriously? They're just going to chase me to the ends of the goddamn earth. Okay, let's go introduce them to a galleon. I mean, seriously, guys, come on. I mean, I know what to do with them. If they catch up to me, I'll run them through Thieves Haven and I can lose them. But I'm going to take them over to this galley first. I'm just going to take them over here. Show them a good time. These are two people who just want to ruin someone's day. Because they were coming at me. They didn't know I wasn't a new spawn. They were coming at me. So they just want to fight people and sink ships. Regardless of what's in it. And those people are boring as hell. I mean, sure, it's the one could argue it's the game, but still. Find another target, friend.
I mean, I could completely lose them. I mean, it's not going to be hard to completely lose them eventually, because I'll just, you know, I've got the wind on my side in terms of that. Eventually they'll lose ground. I just don't know. They just, I wish they would just go play the game. They've got zero reason to focus on me with all the other stuff going on. I mean, they obviously just want a PvP. That, I shouldn't really be complaining. It's just the nature of this. It's going to be. There will be people who will be serial chasers. Now they're going to go sink a galleon, and hopefully that will make them very, very happy in their pants. I, I, I mean, they, they can play the game this way. I'm not trying to say they shouldn't, you know, they can't chase, but they really need to find something more interesting to do. Or get better so they can catch me. Because the fact that I can outsail them just is boring to me. And it's it's more annoying. I mean, if 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 I was on a different pirate, I would have sunk them. I would have killed them, they'd be dead. But because I'm on this challenge, it's just like It's frustrating me because I can't do anything about it. That's the thing that's frustrating me, I think, more than anything, is that I know I could do something about this, but it's just going to be with the way that they are just not being dissuaded. <coughs> Either they need to get a clue and just go find somebody else that will actually play with them, or... I don't know, I may have to find a way to run him into a rock. See, they're just going to roll up on the galley now. Hopefully, I mean, it looks like a new spawn galley, so they're probably new, which means it's probably going to get their sink and they'll get their jollies. Like, why? Why come all... This, that's what smuggles me. I was like, I lost them all the way up in the shores of Plenty, and they sailed all the way down here to try and get me again. Like, really? Here they come in. Look at us, we're pirates. I bet they anchored. How much you want to bet they anchored to, to do their shots? I hope they anchored in a broadside. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyway, I'll stop ranting against uh, these people. They're new to the game. They're trying to play the game. They just want to fight people. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be fr as frustrated as I seem to be. And again, I think the frustration is that I could have taught them a lesson, but with this pirate, I can't. Or it's uh, it's uh, it's much harder. And I just want to. I'm getting to the near where I want to be. Just finish these up and get it all turned in. But this is when this gets to be a kind of like. Uh, just let me finish. No chases all day until now. Okay. Hi, fellas. Can you tell me where this is? Can you tell me? Oh, you've got a gun. It's a statue. What's this? I think I put my food away. Did I? No. I don't need that. But I bet I am going to have to check this castaway. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to continually check to make sure these guys aren't coming. 
this part. Right, right. There's this entrance. And then there's that entrance where that guy is. And it's right by this tree. It's that side of this tree. Ow. Don't hurt. We'll go harpoon this, get above. See if we can find this. We'll have to scope out. We're gonna have to keep a constant eye on. I don't want to call on that. That's not kind. On the noobs. I'm not seeing them, but they can't see me, so this is not a bad situation to be in. They knew I was stopping here, though. Okay, where's the next one? Over there. No, that would take too long. row through, pick all these up with the row book, and if, if they come, then I'm in trouble. But they know not what they do, being mindless beasties. I don't want to eat a whole crack at that. Again, we're going to have to now, because of these guys, go back every time and check the mast. You ready to leave? <clears throat> Looks like the pistol is still down there. Okay. Maybe the galleon sank them. Wouldn't that be a joy? That's somebody would have taught him a lesson. All right, we've got three more chests. One at the top will grab. And I think we'll have to go around the other side. It'll be faster if we swing around so we can get to Thieves' Haven. See you there. Got right there. Right where? Let's see, there's this rock. It's right near the path. I'm spawning you guys up, giving you guys some sun. You should be thanking me. All right, 
Let's swing around to the other side real quick. Let's we'll see what's happened with the battle for plunder outpost. break because of course it is Ooh, a chest they will come must be prepared to deal with that Let's grab this chest. We'll run him through thieves. We'll run him through thieves. They won't know what to do with that. Oh wait, they might be leaving. Okay, this might be good. Okay, there's one down here, right? There should be one right over on that side. Let's move forward a little bit. We'll see what happens with them. I mean, they could easily be turning into me right now. I hope they find me a nuisance, so I hope they leave. But we will have to go check. Be on the safe side. They're not coming at us from behind this rock. Paranoia, par they're there. Okay, never mind. Beans. Uh, so we got this thing here before this collection of rocks right here. Right around here somewhere. Ow. Oh, it's, oh, ow, ow. Ow.
the red. There's the red. It's up here. Up top there? I don't think so. Other side. <laughs> Other side. Haven, then to Devil's Ridge, and then to Paradise, and then to Reapers. With those guys on the map, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, we'll do it. We'll get it. You know. Hopefully without much chasing around. <laughs> in the bottle at this point in the day. Are there any Reapers on the map? Ah, I remember back when I was in the Devil's Roar. <laughs> That's a little loop-de-loop -loop I did. Storm will be hitting Kraken's Watchtower in eight game minutes. A little bird, he told me. Top of the entrance, uh, get these two, then we'll go in to get these three on the other side.
always favor the right side for the sails for some reason. Very rarely do they go to the other side. Maybe there are kegs in there. A lot of kegs. Maybe they know they're just barrels. Okay. There's one there and one on the other side of that water. I sailed to these Haven. And going for the wrong button. Pass this tree in the grass. sail in, get under the ridge so we can just drop the, the chest onto the boat from the top. Hey chickens, how's your day going? Good good day? Don't drown yourself, don't drown yourself now. Oh, there is a pig in there. More cloth for me? I say this and then it's going to happen, but I haven't been merged for months today. It was a pretty busy day on the server. On the other side over here. I should know this under the tree. Under the tree. Let's 
Should work. At least we are masked from prying eyes for the moment. up there anyway. Two of them are up there. Might as well just dig them. Dig them both. This one, the red plant is right there. Everyone's on the run up to the stairs. Red plant. Past the red plant. No, right before the red plant. Hello, pigs. Life flash before my eyes. Oof. <laughs> right on the corner. One landed here. Where'd the other one go? 
in the water. Yep. Just missed the boat. I thought I was over a little too much. All right, to the ridge that discovers, I mean, the, the devil, devil's ridge. We still have a flag, don't we? A grade 5 gold hoarder's flag that we found. That'll look that. We have to move all that stuff up to the front. Alright, what's the best place to stop here? Kind of towards the front ish so i could step on the south i probably could use that to grab the three on the south and up the ridge and then swing around to the north to grab the other two that sounds like the best sort of plan stuff. I'll take it. Almost full too. Leave it there for now. So 
to go up the slope. Take the first. Second left. Here, there's that red plant. Make a, then we take a right up here. It should be past this tree. First go. Nice. Hello, pig. It's nice not having to worry about killing the animals. This one's up near that camp. Just check horizons as I go. Plants are so helpful sometimes. I hear a gun. Somebody wants Al running away because Al. to the north side, grab those other two chests, then it's Paradise Spring, then the Reapers, where the danger will truly begin. And we'll see if this is a foolhardy plan or a good one. Doing it. And the next time we do this, I mean, we'll be smart. We won't waste time outside of the roar at the beginning. We wasted a few hours outside the roar, which we shouldn't have, which cost us money and time. Of that rock. 
Okay, we need to move forward more. Get away from me, Snake. You've hurt me. You have wounded me. Avant, foul demon. You can have the ammo box. Hey, ah, uh, no. Oh, oh, bad, 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 bad. bad. I thought I wasn't going to get out of that. I was like, I got to run. Watch out, pigs. There's a keg behind me. Lantern, exactly. Twenty three renown. Renown, renown, renown. All right, let's quickly go over. We'll see if there's any good loot on the shipwreck. If not, we'll just go. We're not going to resource it up. We won't need to. Pretty well resourced, I'd have to say. Another 20,000 buying that Reaper flag from our earned, which is fine. Again, it's a cost of doing business. It's not an asset like a cosmetic. Just make things work. Like voyages.
I get in here? Yes. Red gem, lovely. Chest, take it. Jam and we'll get out. Another paradise, dig those chests, head to Reaper. To Paradise Spring. Yeah, it looks like it's a crook's hollow. Flamey. Try and stay south. To avoid getting pegged.
reach out to paradise? Probably not. I mean, I should be able to go to paradise without a problem, right? I would imagine. I would imagine that wouldn't be a problem. There was a piece of loot in there, but no. Oh, I can cut a little bit north, I think. Go through the rocks. Might cut this K. To Paradiso. Where are these bad boys? All kind of toward the north side. Okay, we'll get on the the west side of the island on the north ish. I hope you're having a lovely day, Skeddies. A lovely oh, day. No, 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 no. No, not me. You guys, you be you. Don't have to be so smug. And shame on you. Shame on you for doing so. Yeah, so far the sea is lurking an island, so I don't know about that burning your way across the Sea of Thieves thing. It's, it seems unlikely. I'm not saying you can. I'm not saying you won't. You know, you, you continue to live the dreams, but I don't. Somehow I just think, and I'm just ball in here that maybe you're just gonna be stuck around the island yeah and cat not or but not good to meet you Tooth, thanks for the follow. Oh, bearded guys gaming. Thanks for the. Oh, you're right. Oh my god, what am I doing? Hello, Raid. Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks so much for the raid. 
Really, guys, thank you. I, I am not going to be able to follow all these. The MW, Captain Max, Incredible Ian. <laughs> woot woot! Hold on, I gotta get this aboard the ship. Oh my god! Oh, I've got it. I thought you not. I thought you were a mod. Let me, uh, yeah, let me do that. Eh, eh, eh. But I made you a mod. A bearded guy's gaming. Thanks so much. <laughs> no, we're fine. Welcome, Raiders. Indeed. We're just doing a. I got the chest aboard, right? I got that chest aboard? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a raid. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my god. I'm just finishing up a, a day of doing. Um, that's one. Oh. Entirely pacifist. Uh, whoop. I have not killed a skelly. I have not killed an animal. I've not uh, killed a meg. I have not fished. I will kill no one. So that's what this day has been about. It was the first day we're doing it. So we just started this morning. This is the hard part. We're going to take all this stuff to Reapers here in a second. As soon as I finish this dig. But uh, welcome. So that's what's been the plan today. The pacifist pirate. First day of the pacifist pirate. An idea I just had yesterday. Ow. Really? I probably should get some food on me. With this number of skellies. No killing anything yet. Uh, so we're just about done. We're going to... Well, I say just about done. The hardest part now is going to be turning this all in at Reaper. Um, I have a plan for it. Uh... Oh, we got a captain there too. All right, let's get some food on us and health on us just so we can deal with the onslaught. There's all stuff I found in um, shipwrecks. So, uh, okay, let's get this. I have to, I actually moved my uh, key binds. Oh, there's a red jump. So that I wouldn't inadvertently pull out my weapons and kill something. They're coming! They're here! Ow! 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 Boy! I've killed your I know exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. How was your stream, man? How'd your stream go? <laughs> Can I be the passive pirate if I'm killing my followers goal? It's a question for the ages. Right, let's, uh, where's the next one? They're inside. I'm trying to be nice to them. I'm trying to be nice. Oh. Uh, mermaid statues? Uh, I use a sword and a sniper, usually. But that's the other thing I'm not killing with this pirate. I'm trying to respect the mermaid culture. And using a sword against a mermaid statue is violence, so... <laughs> there are all sorts of weird restrictions for this. It's an interesting challenge. But we didn't too, didn't too well. We started slow. We should have gone into the roar earlier. Uh, but we stuck her out here, so it was a bit slow starting out, especially as a new pirate. They're coming. They're coming. Give it to me. It's mine. You can't have it. One more. 
Yeah, that's what they do. I usually shoot first and then use my sword to finish it off. The red ones, if I'm solo, I can't do. The green and uh, blue ones I can do. If you have uh, two people, you can do a red. If you do alternating shots and going in and killing it. And just have a lot of good health on you. Uh, this should be just right in here. Or just right in here. Dramatic music, too. What am I missing? Beyond the tree. Jeez Louise, look at these skellies. Ah. There it is. Oh, got even more. Come on, everyone. Look at the party. Party on paradise. It's a scaly party. Best kind of party there he is. Get everybody down here. So I can run up there and get this chest. Red one? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you have like five kegs and you and it's shallow, you can do it. Um, it'll blow up, but uh, without that. Oh, they're all just hanging out there. Unfair. Ow. Ow. I'm out. Oh, oh, you knocked me back with the chest. I'm out. Okay, now we gotta head over to Reapers for the magic. We're gonna try and get our Reaper grade up using a special thing that I learned with uh, cargo. And we'll see how well it works. We found this grade 5 flag at uh, Devil's Thirst. Somebody must have sunk it, didn't come back or whatever, but yep, yeah, I was like, cool, I'll take it. Free grade 5. For ships and such, I've allowed myself to use the more peaceful curse balls. Nothing that will hurt someone, and chain shot to, dis to disable a ship. That's all I can do with a ship. If I get boarded, I have to surrender. Because I can't fight. No blunderballs, no f flame, you know. I guess that would be a really good sailor and, uh... And, uh, just get, you know, avoid people. I want to do get some stealing, though. I'm going to try and do some sneaky steals. Or I don't have to kill anybody. We did have a couple of intense moments with other ships, but, uh... And one that was just like, this guy just, just they chased me... I like dodged them, I boarded them, dropped their anchor, which is all I can do. <laughs> you knew the game, had a boat full of loot. So I didn't feel like hanging around too long. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. When I was new to the game, I, I've been playing this since launch. And when I first started playing, I was the most paranoid. I'd be running around doing the riddles and being like, this is taking too long, it's taking too long. <laughs> it's taking way too long, I gotta go. Uh, when I didn't know where everything was. Skills LA, almost human TV. Bam F Nurse. Chan O'Brien, I think I got everybody else. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. It's much appreciated. I should also point out that we are, uh, for the, while the COVID is going on, we are a charity stream. And dealing with Megs is always interesting because I can't cool them. Um, all proceeds, subs, cheers. Uh, and their direct donations all go to Feeding America. I've been fortunate enough to be able to work full time. Today's a holiday, so I'm not working today. Um, all proceeds are going to Feeding America because I've been fortunate enough to work full time throughout. And not everybody's been as fortunate, so. Just so as you know, there's a, in my about, there's a Tiltify if you wish to direct, uh, donate directly. If not, just know that anything you cheer, anything you, if you sub or anything, all of those proceeds will eventually once I get a payout, we'll go to Feeding America as well. So that's until the COVID crisis is done and people are back to work because people need help. And like I said, I'm very fortunate. So not expected, but always appreciated. Type uh, exclamation point feed as well if you want to see the donation link. But thank you so much for this raid. This is amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, on this channel, we do a lot of very, we find different ways to play the game. Uh, it's one of the big things. Again, I've been playing since launch. I have a, 
a pirate just doing stolen loot. I have a shipwreck where we just find an island and shipwreck and we have five square radius that we can do message in the bottles and steal and uh, sink ships without our ship. Can't use a ship, it's all rowboats and you have to stash the loot on the island for the entire day. Turn it all in at the end. So we've had some big turn-ins. Uh, and finding a good place to stash it on an island is also very difficult. So we do all sorts of different things here. Uh, but yeah, so feel free to stick around for that. To, um, I stream, I generally stream on the weekends, 11 a.m. Eastern, um, on Saturday and Sunday. Today just happened to be a special day. So I got lucky to have all you guys here. And the horizon, checking my whatever, three minutes exactly. That was, that's still me. Like with this, because I'm a pacifist, because I can't hurt anyone, this makes it really, really tough to, um, which way is this storm going? Oh, we should be good. Um, makes it really tough. I have to really, really, really be paranoid because I don't want to get into a situation where I get, you know, jumped. <clears throat> it's always good to have your eyes on the horizon. This makes it doubly so for me. Is that a skelly? That's a skelly sloop. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we're gonna go here. I gotta get all this cargo up. I have a ton of it. We're turning in that first. This is probably gonna get done, but again, it's mainly for the cargo is gonna get my emissary grade up for Reaper. So I'm not so worried. I wish I wanna turn a little bit. I don't wanna get this drenched, but we may not be able to avoid it. I've got a ton of cargo in the crow's nest as well. So we'll see how far we can get the emissary grade up. It'll be a good test. To see how much I want to do this later. Because the with this with this pirate, I realized doing this, the only factions I can really use, because I can't fish, uh, is oddly enough reapers, gold hoarders, and merchants. This feels like less. I wonder if stuff despawned up there. It feels like much less than I had before. Is there more back? Oh, there's more back there. Oops, didn't want to do that. We'll go park ourselves over here. We'll run the uh, cargo in first. Then we're going to run all of the loot in. And this is going to be the quickest Reaper emissary grade up and turn in ever. Again, if I if I could fight, I'd I'd risk more, but you know. It's gotta be gotta be smart. When you're a pacifist and do these kind of plays. So we'll see what we can do. But that's one thing that I really loved, like early game, was the paranoia. Like constantly having to scan the horizon. Uh, Kilo Miles Gaming Thumbs a follow. Kurrigan 560, I might have thanks to you. Demo TV, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see if we can get more of these back here up front. And I think I probably would do this again in the DR. Um, just to get more value out of the cargo as they turn it in. Whoa! Whoa, when I say whoa, I mean whoa! Thanks, we're almost made. Okay, we'll get ourselves over to that tower. I hope that's not that brig. There was a brig that was just... One, it, I lost it, I stopped them, I got away from them. They just decided they wanted to chase me all over the map. Like, I lost them in Shores of Plenty. They hunted me down into the Ancient Isles down by Shark Bait. I was like, okay. So then they found a shinier object and went after that. And I think they realized I was going to make them be a nuisance to them. They were fairly new. And if I was able to attack them, I would have sunk them. But uh, it's a different story when you can't fight. Let's do this. Beauty. Here. 
See how this goes. Shouldn't have done that. Very interested in this. Yeah, I'm interested to see. This is the first. I mean, I found out about this thing when uh, with my PvP pirate, my stolen loot only pirate. Um, we robbed somebody in the roar for their cargo, brought it here, and I put up an emissary flag, and emissary grade went up, turning in the cargo. So I'm like, oh. No. Well, this is very interesting. So I'm going to run all this in right next to the Reaper. So it's just turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. Uh, I'm going to put the cargo on the left and the loot on the right. And then just switch once I get the emissary up. We'll see. I might only get to... I've gotten to emissary grade 3 with the DR cargo. And it wasn't nearly this much. So I'm hoping maybe... You know, if I get grade 3, grade 4 would be great. Okay, that's everyone. Everyone, everything. Let's go move it all in. Scanning the horizon. I mean, I am incredibly paranoid right now. I'm gonna hop up on top of the Reaper, see if everybody's here. Drop that there. If there's anybody even in the vicinity. Okay. ship that was out to the west. I'm not going to put the Reaper flag up until I have all the loot and all of the cargo inside. Which again is also dangerous in and of itself. The music of this game just really intensifies everything way too much. <laughs> true. Very true. I mean, if somebody rolls up on me and all the loot is in here and they kill me because I can't fight, it's done. And I will have lost everything. I'm glad that I'm doing this having played the game now for three years? Almost? I guess it's almost been three years. Dang. Because, uh, you know, I've... In the early days, I don't know if anybody else with, with the new players is like, you lose stuff, you get really salty sometimes, get a little angry. It's hard to let things go when you work so hard. Me now, I'm just like, you know, this has been all day. I've been turning as I go, so this is not stacked loot. I've only been stacking for the last uh, almost three hours. Uh, but that involved a little chasing, and so there was a bit of a delay in that. You sell your own emissary flags when you're leaving the game? I do. I drop them. I don't sell my own. I mean, I usually... No, because it's only worth a, a, a coin, I think, if you sell your own. The one that's on my deck is one that somebody... There was a grade 5 gold hoarder that, uh, I guess, sank at Devil's Thirst. And I got there. There were The flag was there and a skull and uh, a trinket. And I was like, okay, I'll take this. But generally, I... It's not worth it, especially if, I, if I've sunk away from it or from, you know, if I'm at the end of the day uh, and I've, or sunk, I usually just will either leave it where it is for somebody else to pick up or I'll, you know, not worry about it. Because for me, it doesn't, it is really, I think, is it worth even one gold piece still? I remember when it first started. It's been a long time since I've tried to sell my own. I think it was worth like one gold piece. Uh when they first came out with emissaries. Yeah, still worth one. Nope. Oh, I guess I can put this on the... on the other side. Oh, man, I'm so paranoid. So, I just don't want somebody to see me over here and go, somebody's turning in at Reapers. I mean, the good thing is I don't have a flag up right now, but as soon as that flag goes up, obviously I'm, I'm on the map, so. <clears throat> That's why I want to do this. So I spend as little time with that Reaper flag up as possible.
I think that probably the most interesting, uh, probably the most intense time I had today was uh, having a skelly, gal a skelly sloop spawn on me. Because I can't kill it. So... It's been a while since I tried to outrun a skelly sloop. <laughs> so I, I had a bunch of anchor balls. I kept trying to anchor ball it. And uh, those things don't stay anchored for very long at all. And it would just race up on me again. And then I had a galleon coming in to try and sink me at the same time. Or go for the skelly. So I just took them... Uh, I did a run through Thieves Haven. And got away from them that way. But man, it was intense. No, no, yeah, you voted down. And it's worth, that's worth money. Voting down your own, uh, obviously, is worth more, depending on the grade. When they first came out with the uh, emissaries, it was insane how much. I think it was, what, 15,000? For your own? At grade five? Am I right about that? We're almost done with the cargo. And the good thing is that... Was that somebody anchoring? Or that was a single... Oh my god, it sounded like somebody anchored. That just sounded like somebody anchored. Skelly guys, loop there. Okay, so far so good. Because this, like with when, we, when I do shipwreck, the turn-ins, because you're carrying a ton of loot on a rowboat, turning into an outpost, anybody could spawn at that outpost while you're turning in. So the turn-ins are the most dangerous points, really. You're the most vulnerable, because you have all your loot with you. You don't have a respawn point. At least on this case, I have a respawn point, but again, I, I can't fight, so... All right, down to the loot. If somebody came, I'd just have to give them this. Or plead. Plead with them. Let's open it so we have all that open. That's eh, just going to be confusing. We'll have to be careful with these. Uh, yeah, I would just be like, No, please, 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 let me have the loot. <laughs> Soon the magic will begin. So I'll stack all the treasure chests aside so that I can open them and get them where they're not so they're not as confused in there. So yeah, I basically did a few cargo runs. Uh, I had already done a DR uh, gold hoarders, got to grade five, and then I did the emissary quest, which is what all these captains' chests are. So I turned in uh, all the gold hoarder stuff when I was grade five there. And then, yeah, the original gold hoarder stuff. And this is everything that was remainder hanging out, plus the emissary quest. <clears throat> we will see how much it is. What do you guys think? Some people don't see if these will let you go. Yep. It's always interesting because uh, with my stolen loot only, I try and be a kind of ethical pirate and try and negotiate. We've negotiated with people only to end up stealing it all later, but as we come back sometimes. Um, but, uh, you know, people don't resist. We've had people drop their anchors and raise their sails and then say, look, if you don't fight us, we'll let you keep some of your loot. If you fight, we're just going to sink you and take all of it. So. There's something glowing in that robot over there. Somebody leave a flag? You'd be surprised how many times people just leave flags lying around. That was me uh, getting used to my old... Oh, that was sad. My old lunge. What did somebody leave here? A flagon? An elaborate flagon, no less. How dare they?
I can't tell you how many times I've just seen, you know, people... I saw somebody leave Reapers with their flag up and then scuttle. I'm like, what are you doing? Turn that baby in. Got a treasure chest over here that I can put this in. It's already partially full. Come with me. You're next in line. I am paranoid as a mother. Jackpot. Elaborate flagging, ladies and gentlemen. How many people... Oh, that's so... That is so... That creek right there sounds like uh, somebody turning with an anchor. That's just freaking me out. <laughs> freaking me out, man. So we'll did this, we'll, we'll tally up the total that we've earned. It's down a little bit because we had to buy the flags, and I'll have to buy this flag. So that'll be 20,000. Down. But uh, it's okay. It's okay. Alrighty. Oh, loot. Okay. And Captain's just. I watched the galleon sink themselves while I was in a fight with them. That happens. Yeah, right? Sink themselves like scuttle or just sink themselves like set themselves on fire or blow up a keg or something. With the flag up? They really ran into a rock. <laughs> I remember uh, we got into a scuff with somebody who, we kept having people, we were trying to steal from people doing this, uh, because we can't, as my PvP pirate, uh, my stolen loot only pirate is probably more accurate to say, because it's not always P, well it's PvP because you're stealing it from somebody I suppose, but um, we were trying to steal, get somebody, there was a fort up at Skull Keep, which is over by um, Isle of Last Words. It was up for the longest time, and we'd see people, oh, there's a sloop over there. Okay, so I'm like, okay, so I'll kind of get in a rowboat. I'll tell you guys when to come in. I'll keep an eye on for when they're done. When they open the door, then we'll rumble in and we'll take it from them. And um, not tucking on their boat, but just kind of hanging back. And uh, twice, twice, two people did that, and they both sunk while sitting there. I think one got hit by the island and never repaired, and so they just sank, and then they quit. And the thing is, they were on the they were on the captain waves. They were the first round with the uh, rando captains. So it was. How many pirates have I done? I have. This is my eighth pirate. I have eight pirate characters that I play. I've done pirate legend in a day, twice. Um, I've done. I have my PvP pirate. I have my OG pirate. Um, I have my uh, build rat. Pirate who does the shipwreck and all those. Um, my strictly solo pirate, um, which went strictly solo to Pirate Legend back year one. As my OG got Pirate Legend in year one. Um, Jesus, I have a lot of them. I use them, and they all have different play styles, really, for the most part. Except my OG. My OG is like my when in Rome pirate. We'll do alliances, we'll do whatever. This is a lot of loot. It's a lot more loot than I thought. I mean, granted, there's 20 chests, so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like the collage. I had a picture um, that I did when my. Um, Bully Duck is another one I have. Bully Duck is a. Uh, no ship pirate. First pirate, first one to reach pirate legend without a ship. Then Alactar got it immediately after that, doing it solo. Um, yeah. So I'd like burn my ship when I start and then just swim and rowboat. It's a lot of swimming. With that pirate, I actually swam the entire Sea of Thieves in one session. 
hit every island. It took a very long time, and it was a mistake. It was a mistake when I chose to do it because it was like I was two hours into a stream. I'm like, hey, what do I want to do? <laughs> oh, I'll swim to every island and kill as many sharks as I can. It was shark. It was Shark Week, right? And so. Um, see if these was doing that shark appreciation thing where they were you would kill Megs and things like that But because I couldn't have a ship I couldn't kill Megs. So my way of doing it was like I'll just kill as many sharks as I could I Killed 119 sharks that day By the time he was PL he had killed 300 I Want to say 300 I could be wrong It's on Twitter the announcement of that but It was a lot yeah, I have it. I had them, um, when Bully Duck became Pirate Legend, I did a collage of all my pirates in, one, in the Pirate Legend hideout. <clears throat> so I'd have some that would come and join, like I have, because I have two PCs and I have two copies of Sea of Thieves, one on each, I can, uh, have two... Freaks me out. I have two pirates on a ship at the same time. The hard thing about having multiple pirates is you have multiple copies of the game. I have like, I bought the game three times. Partially also to support rare. It's kind of cheesy to, you know, to have this many pirates and not be paying for, not be paying for it. Always. But I have uh, three copies of the game and an Xbox subscription. Xbox. PL in a day. Yeah. I did it once on a um, gold, a double gold day. And then once with dreams on a regular day. Right? Yeah. Um, other people have done it faster. It took us, it took me on a um, double gold day, it took me 20 hours um, solo. And everything. Take the chests. Here we go. This is the most dangerous time here. I'm going to put a flag on my ship that puts me on the map. These can go up here because they're empty. Right? Yes. Ooh. I'm getting anxious. I'm going to check. I'm going to hop up, up. Once I get these other chests up, I'm going to hop up make sure nobody's in the vicinity. Wool Panda, one, two, three, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Beak. All right, here the magic is going to begin. Let me go up and check, and then we'll start the <laughs> massive, massive turn in. And we'll see how how high a grade we get on Reapers with these cargo. Hopefully it works. I think it should. I'm not dreaming that that worked. Uh, what do we got there? Scully Sloop. I think we're going to get fortunate. Okay. Let's do this. I have health on me? I do. I need this. I'm going to get more food on me just in case. Because the one thing I can do is I can try to live if somebody comes for me. I may want to sell all this fish too, just for gold. I'll put it in a storage crate once I get done, head over to North Star and sell it. Here we go. Rejoice, for there is no greater glory than a pirate's sign. Answer our call. Reject the code. Yes. That's it. 
Okay, so we need to do more next time. Good to know. Good to know. Now we just turn all this in. Really quickly. That was, I think, uh, five. And as I raise up in, in uh, merchants, it'll be easier to gather more as well. Is that actually, I thought I'd hit grade four with that, but you know, it is what it is. Try this again next time. Uh, this time, focusing much more on doing the DR to get the because you don't have to deliver, right? It's just about picking up, so and the quality doesn't necessarily matter. That's everything. Wow, not too bad. Not exactly. I thought it would be more, thought I had more. I guess I didn't. It's also I know that gold is less, isn't it? When you when it's not stolen. Okay. Oh, we also lost twenty. We lost twenty thousand for the flag, right? So. All right, let me see how much we made here. Let's calculate the totes. Is it still calculating? It's still calculating. We're going to have to wait, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have to wait. Okay, in the meantime, I'll start putting fish in a crate for me to go sell over there. All in all, not bad for not killing anything. Just fish in this one. Is it done? Is it complete? Yeah, that's certainly not bad. Give me one second to cook this chicken. Then I'll do the tabulation. Alrighty. We have... That was a good chunk. One, six, eight. Three, nine, six. One, oh, two. Boom. One sixty eight, three seventy six, and ninety seven doubloons. We could sell the doubloons for gold. You gotta think we've also spent uh what is that, sixty thousand on flags? So that would bring us up to two hundred and twenty. So not bad for a first day, and not killing anything. 220. And like I said, we got off to a slow start. Next time we'll just head right into the roar. Let me do this as I go. Let's 
get out of here. We'll head over to the North Star, sell that. We could do a final tally if we want. And then, um, yeah. And that'll be it. So I I'll, I'll guess I'll start doing the closeouts as we go. Uh, I will be, after I'm done with this, I'll be back next weekend, Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern. And I think what we'll start with on Saturday is Pugvale Pete, the stolen loot only pirate. So that'll be, a, you know, the opposite of this. <laughs> and then I think on Sunday I may do more of this. We might give Shipwrecks a little bit of a break to kind of explore this new thing. We'll also see my final levels for today, which could have been much higher. Again, I wasted uh, a good chunk of time outside the roar when it probably should have just gone directly in. Well, that's not too bad for a first turn in. Not too bad, I suppose. Uh, so my levels now are on day one. 29, 17, 18. I think it could be higher. Could have been higher. I think it'll be now that we don't have to uh I can go right into emissaries, that'll that'll be um higher and uh, we'll go right to the roar. That's the most profitable place to be. But I think we'll do the same thing. Now that I know I need more cargo. I'll give myself a little extra time in the DR just picking up cargo. Because again, for the purposes of the of the turn in at Reapers, it doesn't really matter. It's good to have good quality if you can keep it good quality, but if it's not, it's gonna it's not gonna change the emissary grade that you're gonna get from it. It's that's always the same, I think. That's not based on quality. Hard day's work, 168,000, not killing anything. Exactly. And like I said, it would have been, had we not had to buy the flags for the first time, it would have been another, it would have been 220. I think we can start getting into, once we get the, the hang of this, we can start getting into the 500,000s, you know. Get a good roll going, 500s a day or um, even more. To get a good go, and, you know, and I'm opposed to playing with people on this as well. I don't know if people who would be interested in saying, "We're not taking that Meg. We're not. Uh, we can't kill any skellies. You have to run away. We can't fight this ship." Not going to be everybody's cup of tea. That's the one thing about the way that I play. Like shipwrecked is fun. It's not everybody's cup of tea. It's a lot of. Uh, there can be tense moments, but there's also a lot of chill moments. I nearly burnt a piece of shit. That's all the meat, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's turn this in. Fish has been good to us. And this isn't fish I killed, this is all fish I found, so it's perfectly legit. In terms of not killing things. Alrighty. I should, um... Go and leave somebody of these, for karma's sake. Maybe we'll head over to where that ship is. Like, I kept all my, uh, cannonballs and such, and, um in a crate to, to use for cannonball crates. I didn't even let flame uh, fire bombs or blunder bombs on board. Sometimes just to keep out of, you know, instinct. That's the one. Put the fruit in here. Start heading towards them so that we don't uh, waste time here. All right, uh, Golden Sands. 
we'll peacefully go offer our ship up, even if they want to kill us. They'll probably want to kill us. People are to be that way. We won't fight. We'll just hand off our resources. And bid them good day. Good day, sirs. I did do that with most of my dreams. I was just explaining how I did that after Bully Duck became uh, PL. Did I leave fruit meat in there? Oh well, that's fine. I grabbed all the meat. I wasn't paying attention. They can have this meat. There we go. Waste not walnut. Waste not walnut, as I always say. Where'd they go? I am not going to chase them down for these. If I have to leave these at the outpost, I'll do it. If I see him close, I'll say, hey. Hey, take my resources, buddy. Take them. Were they done and they just got scuttled? I had my harpoon crates. I had my fruit crates. And I had my dive crate for when I hit a shipwreck. That was shallow enough for me to use it. They scuttled, didn't they? Well, they don't get these resources then. I'll just drop them off at the at the outpost. When I turn in this green gem, he said, totally missing the green gem. Oh, bye, green gem. I shall miss you. I shall miss you. Oh, well, there they are. Hey, buddies. Let's do the cannons up maneuver. So they know that we will not shoot them. Let's give them all our resources. My bully horny out. My megaphone. And we shall let them have the resource. Please don't run. I don't look at it. I'm not gonna chase you for hours. They're new. They don't have their sail set. I'll gain on them. Or maybe they're maybe they're doing set sails to stupid. Could be. I think I'm going to try and go this way a little bit to gain some speed. And then I'll set sails to stupid. Come to me! I just want to get close enough to get in uh, megaphone range. And just tell them, hey, I'm done with the game. I just want to give you my resources. I'm done for the day. This is this. Come on. Come nearer. Come closer. They're turning. Okay, we'll get around this. I'll go, let's go through here. Kegs in here, right? Cool beans. Right 
crazy. Oh, he's going to say hello to that skelly sloop. He will need my supplies if he's going to do that. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just tell him I'll leave him on um, Hidden Spring. Maybe I'll drive by and drop off the good stuff, and then, uh... Not these three. They'll be like, thanks. Yeah, let's go. Drop sail. It's on the run. Come on, I'm not trying to kill you. I just want to be kind. I think it might be just, it's a duo sloop. Stuff. We'll hop off. Let me get a chance. Don't run into the island. That's never a good plan. Hello, friend. I've got supplies. Gave you a storage crate full of goods. I'll give you more. Don't shoot me. Ow. That's what you get when you try and give people things. I'll come back. He will take my resources. He will take them. Tough love. You would take my resources and you would like it. Yeah, storm's gonna come this way. Then it'll curve over to Uncharted. I tell you, man, that website. That forecast website. I'm going to post this link again. I don't know if many of you have this link, but this is an amazing website that was created. That is a uh, storm. It follows a storm. Tell me they didn't sink. Take my supplies. Trying to do a good deed here. Come on.
I don't have health on me, do I? I'll have to grab the... I'll, I'll grab the shark and stuff so I can at least stay alive as I'm trying to force this guy to take uh, resources. Oh, I gave them to him. I've got no health. Take your mermaid! Take your mermaid! Take... They're trying to kill me and I'm trying to do a good deed. Why don't they learn? Sammy Lee, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Oh no, we sank. Oh no! Hopefully he comes back. Oh no, I, I need to... I was gonna say... Is he still in the water? Did he take his mermaid? He did not. I need to get out of here. There's no mermaid. No, oh, it dove. He's not coming back. Hello? Okay, let's go to the outpost. We'll drop this off. Sometimes people just don't want your help. What's that about? Come aboard! Come aboard! Come aboard! Don't shoot! No violence! No violence! Why, God? Why? Why? Oh well, I didn't get him. 
The light fades. All right, well, that's going to be it for me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, well, at least maybe we'll get some of that stuff. We'll get the cannonballs and such. I mean, the cursed cannonballs. He can take him back to his ship. Actually, he doesn't even know where his ship is, so. Ah, well. Well, that's going to be it for me. Thank you, everyone. Thank I want to thank Bearded Guy Gaming for the, for the raid, the Darius. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, I'll be back on next week, Saturday, 11 a.m. <laughs> it was a nice end of the day. Uh, where we will do um, Pug, uh, Pugvale Pete, uh, maybe with some crew, doing uh, loot, stolen loot only, um, catch and release sort of stuff, you know, negotiating surrenders on the seas if we can. Um, See if we can get more steals than we did last time. We got 13 the first day. I think we got seven uh, the last time. <clears throat> and uh, we'll see what we do. And then on Sunday, I think I'll do more of this. More of Arbuthnot. Arbuthnot. Please. Please, fairy man, please.